Yo, what's up everyone? Today is gonna be a really quick video. I'm gonna show you how I make steps, so let's go. So here we are in FL Studio. Uh, I'm gonna show you my approach on how I usually make steps. Let's start with a piano. Yeah, I've got just basic two pianos. So I'm gonna make a chord. I just like this chord for some reason. I've been using it since I've discovered it uh, recently, like in all my tracks. So yeah, let's let's do something with that. We can actually use the piano sound and let's just distort it. I'm gonna add some Saturn. I like to use the clean tube one and just increase the drive a bit. Obviously it sounds a bit harsh, but when we process it further, it's gonna be a lot better. I'm gonna cut up the lows because we usually won't need them. As you can see, I increased quite a lot of highs. Let's actually, I can distort it a bit more, I think, with RC20. I like the distortion of this one, I don't know why. And also don't forget this, this cut, uh, it cuts around 10k, so you don't want to lose the eyes. Yeah, it sounds a bit thicker. Maybe too much mids. Yeah, it sounds much better. I just got some kind of richness right now. So, um, next off, I would just probably go with another sound. I like to use some kind of organ and B42 is excellent at that. I like this Preston preset, so we can just copy and paste uh, the chords. I think it needs to be one octave up. So okay, right now I'm gonna add some OTT, but just a little bit. And some a compressor. Uh, so I, I want some attack in this sound, so I'm just gonna increase the attack in the release and the threshold maybe a bit down okay this sounds pretty okay right now let's just you know let's add some kind of synth so i'm just gonna probably add some formant filter i don't know i just like it uh for some reason Maybe I can even modulate the uh, cutoff a bit. You know, it's just like it's talky. <laughs> I'm just gonna process it in the different uh, insert. gonna root them together okay this sounds okay um you know at this phase you can add anything uh just to spice it up a bit more uh for example let's i don't know let's add strings for example yeah i will decrease the release and turn the reverb off maybe just add the the high notes Still got some release, so I'm just gonna adjust the length of the note. And let's like let's add an Oxford inflator. It's kind of it just gives uh, a lot of uh, loudness. <laughs> Okay, at this point we can move it uh, to the playlist and, you know, let's probably add some kind of... We need some high end, so uh, I would add some kind of symbol, probably. Maybe this one too. Uh, 
and I don't know, maybe let's add some white noise. I'm uh, just gonna create one really quickly. I know serum is maybe too much for <laughs> making a white noise, but I'm just gonna use the bright white and I'm gonna filter it about it's a bit out. I don't like this one too much. Maybe we need a bit more of, of the distortion. So what I would do usually, I would just resample it. Yeah, I would just maybe cut uh, this in Edison because I don't I don't like the the release. And okay, yeah, that that's how we make steps. <laughs> and right now, if I would want to use it uh, like in a drop, um. Yeah, I would uh, probably add some kind of base. I can make a quick one. I will just load the uh, distorted crispiness uh, effect chain <laughs> that I made recently. Yeah, I'm just gonna mess with the dispersion a bit to get more of the high end. This sounds good. If you would like, you could also record this, and you know, we could have a step like this, which sounds pretty cool, I think, you know. And you have yourself like your own step. You can, you know, pitch it. And you can get different sounds of it. Yeah, and so this is how I make steps usually. You know, you can change up the sound. Uh, the sounds, uh, you can even change the piano to a different sound. And you can change this one too. Yeah, for example, this one sounds interesting. You can even change the form and <laughs> I don't know. Or add some unison. Or even change the wave table like something crazy. Okay, and you you even can do something crazy like uh add your recorded for example this one. Yeah, and you can lower it as a noise. For example, so okay, this is in G, so I'm gonna go 17 sometimes up. Yeah, there you have it in Serum, you know, and you can, you can process it more here. Okay, I'm gonna make an envelope to make it like uh, one sound. Now you can probably add some weird wave tables. You know, and you can achieve some very weird sounds. You can, I don't know, you can use um, the reverb filter, for example, on, on just oscillator B. You can add some uh, down sample and the reverb before it. There you have like a rave step, you know. You can you can experiment a lot. It's up to you, you know, to your imagination, you know. If you can even pitch it up to make a chord out of it.
yeah, there we have it. Uh, yeah, that's usually what I do for my steps, you know. I just experiment a lot. And I just change sounds, change the chord, you know. You can even change this chord to a different one, you know. Like, add a, a seventh or, you know, whatever. It's up to you. <laughs> so, yeah, this is like a blueprint for me. How I usually make my chords. Um, then you, you can do whatever. You can even stack some samples, you know. Uh, to create a chord out of like different samples, different sounds. So, yeah, it's up to you. There's like a lot of there are a lot of possibilities. So you just have to try them. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is it for steps. I hope you enjoyed it and it helped a bit. Um, and yeah, you can make yourself uh, your own step right now. So yeah, enjoy and have a nice day. Ciao, ciao.